going on, everybody? Hold on. Film the old KE. A few people were uh, impulsive. And a few messages have been asking, what happened to it? What's doing this? Bugger all. Trying to find an engine sponsor so we can make a big comeback with this. In a year or two. But anyway. Cortina. Finished. Well, the first stage of it. We got it all done. A little shiny. So yeah, so anyway, we uh, went to Jamboree and we uh, put this in the show. It was pretty cool and then we drove it home, which was massive. Four weeks it took us to build this. Memorial build for Annie's mate, Josh and her granddad. He always used to call and ask if it was going. Unfortunately, he passed away. He was too. But she gave it a full respray as well, just in time. And also this bad boy we did testing. As you can see, I uh, did some wall action. So some are probably asking what was going on in my burnouts with this. Well, basically, I had no brakes at all. So me and Annie on Saturday night were up till 3 a.m. in the morning. And then got up at 7 to try and fix them again. We fixed the first problem and then created two more. So it was a bit of a uh, pain in the backside. So those that were wondering why my skids were a little bit out of it on the first time. It's because of this. Go ahead. Zilch. Problem is, yeah, no fluid, just everything was a nightmare. T section, wrong thread. So, yeah, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna fix that, get the proper T section, or find the one that I pulled out of the KE, plumb it in, and we'll have front brakes again. But actually, it did alright for, uh, I did what I could with no brakes. My second run, or first run, was pretty mean actually. I ran the 18s, 18 by 10 and a half. And, uh, it wasn't that bad. Then I ran the 17s. And my second run, I got a little bit sloppy, a little bit too confident. And, uh, yeah, I just did a sloppy run. I was just meant to go out there to do donuts and figure eights. As I said, I had no brakes. I just had to get on the pad. I had to, uh, uh, yeah, I just had to test it. I had to see how it handled. 17s were okay. Um, probably need to find a bit more wider tyre. Probably these will do. Yeah, so now I'm going to try and find a tyre sponsor so I can get new tyres. But yeah, it did alright. I mean, this thing's only got 300 horsepower at the wheels at 75,000 RPM um, on 10 pound boost. And it baked the 18s hard, you know. Now, some are asking, why did you get rid of the KE? Why did you. Um, why did you retire the KE? Well, it's just getting tired and I couldn't take passengers, getting smoked out. The car had no control. I pretty much had to drive it where it went to go. It was pretty hard out, really. But this thing, man, it had no brakes. And I could actually nearly put it where I wanted it to go. Yeah, I want my driving to be a bit more ruthless how I used to drive. 
um, and I think this this car is perfect for it so time to clean it up or well, not clean it up but put the bumper back on did a doozy there yeah put the bumper back on and then uh, fix these brakes and then hit wrapping nets in four weeks time because I want to come and party I want to be ruthless I want to throw this beast around so that's the deal I've got to thank all my sponsors Penrite, Ryko, RKM Out of the Wild Pet Food 360 link you know for the sponsors and supporters so now try and find a tyre sponsor because I'm a poor man I'm trying to do a rich man's business you might be laughing going oh yeah burnouts you know it's, you have to be rich but yeah it, it does cost money especially when you've got a family and you're self-employed so hit me up if you know anyone who wants to come on board um man it'll be massive so yeah that's my next aim and also find hey walter what are you doing find me a sponsor engine sponsor for this ke you know it'd be massive to throw a v8 in there twin turbo and i'll bring it back but anyway sorry for the little rant uh, massive weekend, impulsive, massive weekend at Jamboree. Call cool team is done. Next project is to uh, get your ride. Anyway, peace out. Take care and be safe.